Is God maybe calling you to start something for Him? Like, I don't know, maybe a YouTube channel? We'll talk about that coming up. Hi friends, I'm Paul Gibbs with Just Got Music Ministries, using music and more to help you on your Christian walk. Well, that's a question, isn't it? Is God calling you to do something for Him, to start something for Him? And for me, now for you, it probably it may not be a YouTube channel. For me, well, yeah, we'll talk about that in just a sec. But uh, you know, is God calling you to something, or has He called you to something? And if so, how have you responded? Well, you know, we, we, we think back to characters in the Bible. You know, Noah, for example. Well, God called him to build an ark. You know, how unreasonable was that? But, just as it happens every time, when God calls us to do something for Him, to start something for him, people are going to get blessed. People are going to get blessed. Now, we get blessed ourselves in various shapes or forms. We don't know what blessing uh, we may receive, but people in general are going to get blessed when we obey God. Oh, yeah. So, then there's, uh, of course, Moses. You know, Moses said, no, no, God, I'm, I am not your man. I can't talk good. I, I mean, I, I killed a guy back there in Egypt, you know, but God used him. God says, yep, you're the guy. And people were blessed, weren't they? Yeah, the Israelites got out of Egypt, were freedom from, Egypt, from the Egyptians, and the blessings still continue to this day, just as they did with Noah. I mean, face it, we wouldn't be here if Noah hadn't said yes. And how about Peter? Jesus was uh, wanted to talk to these this crowd of people beside the water, and uh, the people were just crowding closer and closer. And he's, his heels are probably in the in the water, and so he says to Peter, "Hey, can I use your boat for a second? I just want to go out into the water a little bit and and talk to these people." Okay, so Peter said, mm, "All right, okay, we can do that." And then uh, and then Jesus asked him to, "Okay, now let's." Uh, uh, the, the talking was done, now let's go fishing. Yeah. And not just go fishing, Jesus said, let's put out into the deep water for a catch. Get the difference there? Jesus knew what was going to happen. And Peter was blessed. His friends were blessed. I, I'm thinking there was probably, well, we know that there was a lot more fish than Peter could eat. <laughs> so a lot of people were blessed that day. And throughout the centuries, through, as, as Peter and the other disciples became uh, fishers of men, so to speak, and became the men, the people that God intended for them to be, because they said yes. Yeah. Amen. Back in 1996, uh, I was asked by God, through a few people, to do a radio show, and I said, "No, I don't think so. I have no radio experience. I don't want. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a musician. I, I don't want to be on the radio." But I don't know. Four or five months later, finally, I'll make the story short. I said yes, and for 11 years, uh, music with a message, and then which became the Just Got Music Hour, was on Christian radio. Not once a week, but sometimes twice a week. And over those 11 years. 500 and some odd, whatever it was, episodes later, a lot of people were blessed through that show. And now, uh, for over a year, about a year and a half now, uh, the uh, it's been it's on again. Not on radio, but on, on the Internet. And people are blessed. I know they are. Because when we say yes to God, people get blessed. Amen. So, if you're struggling with that right now, that's I want you to know that. I want you to know that God calls us to do things because He wants to bless us, yes. But the bigger picture is He wants to bless a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people. Whether it's through your music or whatever else He's calling you to do. Yeah. So, 
Um, but he always, always calls us out of our comfort zone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure Noah wasn't real comfortable. I'm thinking he probably wasn't uh, building an ark. Probably not. Um, Moses, uh, yeah, he stood up there and before Pharaoh, probably the, the most powerful leader in the world, and says, oh, by the way, Pharaoh, um, God says to let my people go, he says. Yeah, um, that probably wasn't real comfortable for him. And uh, fall for Peter, probably. Um, not real, maybe out of his comfort zone, but it certainly was unreasonable that Jesus said, Let's take your boat out into the deep water because we're going to catch a whole bunch of fish. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, guess what happened? Yeah. So God always calls us out of our comfort zone. For me, being in front of the camera is not a real comfortable situation. I, I can be behind the microphone doing the show. Uh, I can be up there playing guitar, keyboard, just singing in front of people. But that was getting out of my comfort zone way back when, too. But uh, so this is new for me. I'm like Moses. I God, I don't talk good. I, I don't know how to say this stuff right. But, you know, like Dr. Stanley says, Charles Stanley, he says, Obey God and what? Leave all the consequences to him. Yeah. And there will be a blessing. Yeah, he will make... He will certainly make a way. All right, so how do you start? You know, for me, um, it was learning a little bit about video. I have watched tons of videos on how to make videos. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many things on YouTube there is. People saying how to start a YouTube channel. Uh, best camera to use. Best microphone. Best do, do this, but don't do this. You know, <laughs> and I'm trying to do it right now. Don't stare at the screen, like, because you're, then you're, you're like this talking to people. No, look at the camera. Okay, all right, and, and all those things. So learning how to do it, and it's, it's a learn as you go process. But you got to start. You got to start. Uh, if you can't swim, where are you going to learn to swim? In the water. Now don't just jump in unprepared. You got to do some preparation. Line up a somebody to teach you how to swim, etc., etc. But you gotta jump in. You gotta you gotta start. You don't start totally again unprepared, but you need to start. And so I'm gonna start. How about you? How about you? So again, this ministry, and especially now this this YouTube channel, Just Got 55, uh, we are going to use music and whatever else God brings uh, to us to help you in your Christian walk. So what I'd like you to do, if you will, uh, if you believe that this will be a blessing to you, maybe you kind of want to try a few, okay? So anyway, down here or here or somewhere down below, I may be pointing to it, I'm not sure, uh, there is a button that says subscribe. So you can subscribe to this channel. That way you'll get uh, notified when you, new, new videos are put up. And uh, hit like if you'd like to do that. And we'd love to have you along on this journey. All right, let's take this journey together, shall we? Shall we? We're going to be learning a lot about um, about how to start things for God, about God's will. We, we want to help you in any way, shape, or form that we can. So please, in addition to clicking those buttons, there's room for comments below. So please leave a comment if you'd like, and uh, that'll help us to interact uh, together with e with each other. Now, next time we get together, we're going to talk about the obstacles that the enemy throws in our path whenever we try to do something, whenever we try to step out for God, uh, take new territory. The enemy is going to be right there to stop us. And I'm going to share some of those things that are that I I experience and did experience over the years. Um, and maybe experiencing now, and would you too, if you, if you haven't, excuse me, if you have, if you have been called to something and you've stepped out for God and you've encountered those obstacles, um, what did you do with them? How did you overcome the obstacles? Leave a comment below about that, or if you're facing some obstacles now and you just don't know what to do, well, leave those there too. All right, we'll talk about those. We'll read those comments in, in the preparation for the next video. All right, so we're going to wrap it up at this point. With, thank you for so much for watching. 
Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm Paul Gibbs with Just Got Music Ministries. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.